Okay, so this is unboxing the Polycom IP450. It is the larger of the two boxes. Um, you may throw away you know, paperwork that comes with it. Take everything out of the plastic bags. I'll skip past this. Do note that underneath here, this is where your handset is. You can get it out. And underneath the box are your cables. Those of you at an office that does not have the Avaya phone, you probably have an AT&T or an RCA phone. I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, the IP450, the larger of the two phones. So this is the phone here. We have our handset cord, the curly one. That will plug in to the handset cord labeled here. There's a little picture of a handset in there. Uh, they all, all these are keyed, so make sure you put them in the right direction, and it should snap into place like that. This will be your network cable. Um, I'll show you that in just a sec. You will also have an extra box here. It will contain the power supply for the phone because your phone's not powered off of the network. So, and that, when assembled, will look like this. You're gonna go ahead and plug that into the wall or the outlet power strip, hopefully. And the other end will go into the 24 volt uh, plug at the end there, like that. And you'll see, uh, typically this is an average HP at most of the branch offices we have these. Um, right around the colored audio cables or audio plugs, right above the USB ports, you'll see typically blue or black, although it can come in any color, that's your network cable. Uh, it is also has a little tab on it, you want to make sure you push down on that tab and it should pop right out, like so. That will go into the LAN port. This port here has a network symbol above it. I go to the LAN port on the phone and again make sure it's going the right direction and then it snaps into place. The black network cable that's supplied with that. Then we have this ferrite core. This helps reduce the noise going to the computer with all the electronics going on. Uh, it doesn't come on the smaller phone but does on this one because this is a little bit more powerful phone. So you want to put this somewhat near the end of the cable that's going toward the PC, um, but you know far enough away you can still have room. So we push that inside there, and then fold that over, and that should snap together, like so. So that will go into the network port and the computer that you unplugged earlier. And the other end will go into the PC port. There's a little picture of a PC there. Same deal as before, snap into place. Uh, for those of you that answered Kelly's email about a headset cord for the Avaya, you will have an extra cord in your box. Looks like this. Has a standard headset jack on one end, and this end will then go on to the headset jack on the telephone. So. So, after you get all those on there, now it's time to put the base on. Uh, this is the tab for the base. The ramps go toward the telephone. So you want to make sure all of your cables are up underneath this, like so. You're going to want to angle that tab into the bottom slot on the telephone there. Push that in. Again, make sure all the cables are clear, and that should just snap into place. Once that's done, take your curly cord. And note that the jack on the handset is sideways on this one. So you're going to want to turn it, plug it in until it clicks. And that's it. You're ready to go. For those at offices that do have Avaya phones already, uh, you will not have this extra box. You will not need the power supply. You're going to need to take your Avaya phone and look at the top of it. And faintly at the top, there are two different symbols. Uh, this one here is supposed to be a PC. It's a box with a line under it. And this one is a square with a little tab on it. That's supposed to indicate the wall plate. So we're going to unplug the one from the wall plate. And this will go into the LAN jack on the back of the phone. If I put it in correctly. And the one from the PC port. Well, of course, go into the PC port here. Uh, for those of you that do have Avaya phones, um, you can do this ahead of time, but do note that 
you're not going to have any connectivity. It won't ring like this one, like your Revive phone will, um, until we make the full switch. You're welcome to plug it in, and play with it when you know when you're not taking calls. Uh, but do know that once you unplug your Revive, you will not be taking calls until we get this one set up.